Beautiful day at Horseshoe Lake. Going for a hike around the lake. Takes about 45 minutes to go around and it's all flat. So if you're not in shape for hiking up hills, this is a great choice. You can see this back, back section of Horseshoe Lake and up there, this mountain up here, it's the backside of Mammoth Mountain. Beautiful views this whole hike. There you are, the Mammoth Crest. And I've seen the water all the way up to the those trees out there on that point back in uh, 17 and 2019. I was right, right where I'm standing right now, was right at the water line. Now you can walk this uh, trail either, pick either way. You can go uh, start by the beach and walk around. I like to prefer the backside first. You're kind of warm by the end of the hike, so this side's all in the sun. Nice to do this first and finish up in the shade. Again, this trail seems kind of far up from the lake. It's because the lake's water level can come way, way up in a big wet year. This morning we got uh, some nice mammoth southwest breezes blowing. Alright, this is the back sand beach. July, August, it gets gets pretty toasty out here. But you've got these winds that pick up a lot. So if you like it cool, this is the beach for you. If you like it warm across the lake there, that whole back section, that beach area is just tends to not get this wind. So the trail is coming right around here. All right, when the water is low, you will find that there is some trails that are lower down where the water line comes up at times. And that's what I'm on now off of that sand beach, the lower exit trail. Today we're shooting in 5K. Gotta love it. There's that beach we were just at. Now well, we're about halfway around Horseshoe Lake here. Not quite, we'll cut in for a better view of the lake here in a second. Nobody around on this June 8th. Nice and quiet. The winds really cranks through that. This little gap here between the pass and Mammoth Mountain. If we get on the other side, there'll be no wind at all. Nice little bridge to help you get across the creek. Yeah, there's a nice trail that goes way up that creek too. All right, we're going into the shade. Some muddy trail here.
This backside area takes a long time to melt out. It's all in the shade, it stays pretty cool. This is your view from the backside. And you notice the wind is much calmer. As you can see, this trail is legal for mountain bikes. Yay! Make sure if you ride up the Mammoth Lakes Basin Paths to Horseshoe or you take the bus, you definitely come and ride this loop. Fun stuff. Now we'll see if we can even get across the famous bridge that got taken out in 2017. And it's all fixed now. And yep, that snowbank that was here a couple weeks ago is now gone. This is probably going to be the last of the snow. Big years, I've seen snow back here, middle of July, 2017. Ah, one more patch. Kind of a gorgeous view here. Wow, look at this view right here, guys. Picture time. All right, we're on the beach side of Horseshoe Lake. And it's the uh, non-windy side, so if you do come to hang out at the beach with your dog and go swimming. You're not gonna be stuck in the wind like the sand beach that we, uh, we were at a few minutes ago. Really some really good stand up paddle boarding in this lake too, so you wanna check it out. All right, here's a great view of the back side of the lake here. Another water crossing with another bridge. All these water crossings will dry up pretty soon. Big winter, they'll flow right into the fall and not stop at all. Well, this is the end of the trail for those of you who take the route I took. This is the beginning for everybody else. Right down here is where the uh, Mammoth Lakes shuttle the trolley stops so if you're getting you can get a ride up here on the trolley it'll tow up your bike all the way up here now this is the trailhead start for people starting from the parking lot there's the horseshoe lake beach Nobody here on this mid-June day yet. I would think 
by 4th of July, there'll be a lot of people out here. If you come up to this beach, it's up at 9,000 feet, so the sun is really intense. Bring your shade with you. All right, well, that's the Horseshoe Lake hike. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Come on up for a hike and a swim.